Betty. So she's still messing with it? Magic man? Magic, Magic woman, yeah. Did she plant herself into the crown? Because she it looks like she's still altering it, even though she doesn't... Interesting. I mean, she is trying to help. Theoretically. Oh. Betty, I can't believe it's really you. Technically, I'm a magical AI avatar derived from Betty's memories. Yeah, that makes sense because Betty isn't actually here. So she, okay, so she made an AI of herself and kind of planted it in the crown to fix it to get Simon back. Okay, I get it. Close enough. Schwang. The system appears to be stabilizing. Crown oh. He doesn't know what a penguin is. <laughs> Whoa. Oh, she. There's something I have to tell you. Tell me, Betty. Don't. I swear. I, I, Don't. I. I, 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 I mm, that's annoying. So Betty was trying to alter the crown to help Simon. But then we just undid what she was trying to do. So what she was doing was hurting him. I mean, clearly he was like bugging out, right? Um, but you think in the end it would help him. But I guess what she was trying to do to help him was never going to work in the first place. So stopping it was the best thing to do. I guess. Interesting. I don't know. Hmm. I'm seeing remnants of Betty's program in the readout. It's like her data left a shadow print on the circuitry. I never could. Hmm. Bit too many. Place is trashed and I can't remember a thing. Great dinner party, huh? Best I've ever been to. What? I don't like relaxing. True. Like Intriguing. This was a big episode. I wasn't expecting so much to be done in this. I'm very, very intrigued. I a little confused on what Betty did to the crown. Like clearly it was like messing with Simon, right? But was what was her intention? Her intention was messing with the crown to try and help him, but I'm guessing her in, or trying to help him by messing with the crown was actually hurting him. And so in the end she ended up stop stopping doing that because it wasn't going to work. So I'm guessing Betty's going to find an alternate way to help him maybe. Uh, although the real Betty probably doesn't know that we stopped this from happening because that was just an AI version of Betty inside the crown. So I don't know. I'm interested. Um, nice seeing, uh, you know, Bonnie and uh, Marcy together. Love seeing them together. So it was a nice duo episode, and I totally love the whole labyrinth aspect of this. It's so good. I, I love that. And we got the original Gunther bag, reference of uh, Evergreen... We got actual Simon here again, which is great. And just unraveling a bunch of mysteries and stuff. And everything seems to be back to normal right now anyways. But I don't know. This was a very big episode with a lot of characters, cameos, references, and just big story points too. This was fantastic. This is a great way to start Season 8. Even if it's not technically the start of Season 8, this is a great start to it. I am really intrigued if this is going to go anywhere if this kind of wrapped up this little thing with the crown because it seems like they fixed it but who knows and betty's still out there so who knows when she'll show up again but uh as for this episode this was very well done like a lot of stuff happened <laughs> in such a short amount of time and it was done excellently i don't know i really like this i think the story is very interesting in this like, this definitely had some build-up to it, I would say. Kind of. I mean, I wasn't... Ex well, like, we weren't, like, building up to this episode. But you definitely, like, appreciate this episode a lot more from the few episodes that it pulled from.
from past seasons. Um, so yeah, I don't know. This is very intriguing. I'm, hmm. I really like this. This is so good. Heck yeah, man. Well, anyways, um, yeah, I don't know. I feel like I gave up my thoughts. This was, this was fantastic. I didn't know the crown trapped all of its wearers inside the crown. So I actually find that incredibly interesting because Gunther was the first one to wear the crown. Um, and then <laughs> apparently Santa Claus, the original Santa Claus wore it. So that's kind of funny to me. Um, and cause you know, if it's been around for a millennia, you, you're going to have people, um, constantly be wearing it and so I, I do find that interesting so yeah and it's also interesting that simon's in there because simon was aware of it but he's still wearing it like he is the wearer so i guess you don't have to die to be in there you just if you wore the crown or are wearing the crown you're in there so it's interesting although i don't think it's if you wear the crown it's probably if you've been corrupted by the crown i would say because I think there have been people that have put on the crown for just a minute, and they're not present in there anyways. So, who knows? But, yeah. Anyways, I will see you guys in the next... <laughs> what is this? Oh, yeah, uh, Betty, right? Yeah. Magic man? Magic woman. Mm -hmm. Betty. This is the fabled Betty? I always pictured her more majestic. <laughs> Floating head isn't majestic enough? <laughs> Oh, and they... Okay, so she infected the crown. So she's trying to navigate the crown. But she keeps messing up, obviously. There has to be a part of the real Betty in there somewhere, Gunther. I think I will. Betty, I'm the reason you're doing all this. I'm busy. Remember how we met when we both reached for the same book in the library? <laughs> the note inside because you knew I'd borrow it next? Aww. It was the funniest, smartest note I've ever read. That's so wholesome, I man. have to work. Betty, I love you so much, but you can't help me like this. I can and I will help you, Simon. You remember me. I... Stay with that feeling, Betty. Stay with it. Betty! Sorry. Ah! The avatar derived from Betty's memories. Yes. Close enough. Aww. <laughs> Her eyes. The system appears to be stabilizing. Crown shields are coming back off. Self off from foreign entities. But I, I can come back and visit Simon, right? Mm -mm. No. What about me? Mm, don't freak out, but you're gonna be deleted. <sighs> oh no! Destroy your world. You are my world. Oh my God! Bye. The writing on this man—it's so Gunther. good. Bye, dude. I'm gonna be nice for the yeah. from now on. And now he's okay. gone, Gunter. <laughs> Something I have to tell you. Oh no. Tell We're not gonna know it. Ah! I, 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 no, man. Hmm. I'm seeing remnants of Betty's program in the readout. It's like her data left a shadow print on the circuitry. Hmm. <laughs> so, what was that thing you were gonna tell me? Oh, I just did that for drama. I figured it would drive you crazy, but at least you'd never stop thinking about me. Betty, I never could. Wait, what? Oh, yeah, yeah, sorry. So she stayed in there, actually. My place is trashed, and I can't remember a thing. Great dinner party, huh? Best I've ever been to. What? I don't like relaxing. I like silence. <laughs> I wonder if that's like a message for, you know, when you have like dementia or Alzheimer's, those things that you forget your memory, that if 
that's kind of a allegory for that because you kind of maybe do have that piece that remnant that memory but again it's so lost it's so hidden that you just don't remember it but it's always there wow that was an incredible episode what a way to start off the season we just have a pb marceline episode the crown is back and it's even attached to that episode um where gunter gets kidnapped and then betty was kind of messing with the crown uh and then again yeah just really wholesome great moments from all these characters it was so sweet it was endearing and cozy i always say cozy i'm cozy right now but just a fantastic way to start off the season you got a plot bomb you have an emotion bomb you have a reconnecting and the show does that so well when characters haven't interacted in a while or it's the first time it's always really sweet and real but yes what a fantastic episode i'll have to make a tier list or something of like the best first episodes of each season because off the bat this does remind me this is probably one of the better ones uh but excellent 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 start i am very happy things that i already wanted to happen from last season they're already happening. And that's all I got. I'll see you in the next one. <laughs> Magic woman. Betty! Please, what are Magic you doing? Magic woman? I'm reprogramming the crown's wish magic. Ah! I'm a bush! It's just on backwards. Yeah. Ah! There has to be a part of the real Betty in there somewhere. Remember how like we met? When we both reached for the same book, and when you returned it, you left a note inside because you knew I'd borrow it next? I have to work. Betty, I love you so much. I can and I will help you, Simon. You remember me. I... I... Stay with that feeling, Betty. Stay with it. Simon? Oh, Betty, I can't believe it's really you. Technically, I'm a magical AI avatar derived from Betty's memory. The crown will reseal itself off from foreign entities. What about me? Mm, don't freak out, but you're gonna be deleted. I'm just glad I didn't destroy your world. You are my world. Don't forget, Gunther! Bye, dude. I'm gonna be nicer to penguins from now on. Wait, what? I was gonna say he's probably like, what does that even mean? Whoa, there's something I have to tell you. Oh! oh! I, 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 Betty! Why would you leave so soon? I, I... I'm seeing remnants of Betty's program in the readout. So what was that thing you were gonna tell me? Oh, I just said that for drama. I figured it would drive you crazy. <laughs> I don't see anything. <laughs> My place is trashed and I can't remember a thing. Great dinner party, huh? Best I've ever been to. I don't like relaxing. I like science. All right, guys. I feel like there's a lot going on in there. I will rewatch this one. What I'm going to do is I'm going to watch six in a row, counting this one. That's how I'm going to do Adventure Time from here on. Because I feel like when I watch two at a time, sometimes like things are all over the place and then something makes sense. And then I'm like, what the hell is going on? I find it easier if I do six. For some reason, six just works beautifully where there's always something in the mix for everybody. There's like a wacky episode. There's some things that tap into the world build. Building. We'll get like like character building in some. So I feel like six is a nice round number. So we're going to do six in a row from here. But after I watch all six, I'm going to rewatch all six. That's how I'm going to do it. So I stay as fresh and knowledgeable about what's going on. Now, in this episode, they explained at the end, because the whole episode, I'm thinking, are these people that are real, that could like come into our reality because we already know there's alternate versions, but this was different. This wasn't alternate realities. This was them in other times of their lives and they were acting like conscious beings. But at the end, Magic Woman, which I've said many times also that it looked like Magic Man. The last time I saw her, I'm like, holy crap, is that Magic Man? Is she Magic Man? And she said, I'm Magic Woman. But now this is in Princess Bubblegum's mind. So... I don't know. I don't I don't want to think too much about it, but just the fact that they mentioned it makes me feel happy because I was like, am I crazy to assume that? I mean, it looked just like the hat and now it's canon or it's confirmed that they at least think the same thing as me. We saw Gunther and Evergreen and I well, we didn't see him, but like 
I don't know. I don't know. Like, cause it's, I hate episodes when it's in another person's mind. Cause then it's like, what is real and what is not? And what could you take out of it? It was a fantastic episode. Then at the end, Marceline is looking at that writing and she's like, I don't understand what this is. What was that? Was I supposed to know what writing that was? I feel like we've deciphered something similar in another episode or maybe I'm, I don't know. I watch so many shows. I forget what is what sometimes. And I feel like we deciphered something and that looks familiar, but so a lot of other things happen too. I'm trying to think of it all. Like the crown. All right, we're in the crown. The crown is glitched. I don't know. I'm jumping into another one. I want to try to like piece this all together. I'm curious to see how season eight's going to roll because every other season has been like a total free for all. And obviously I love it. It's one of my favorite shows at this point. So you guys want to be way ahead, full on edited reactions to that on other shows. I do Patreon link in front of me. If you're seeing it on YouTube, we are done in full with the entire series seasons ahead on other shows and hundreds of exclusives link in front of me. If not comments down below, like and subscribe and I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace. <laughs> Oh, there's Betty. Magic woman. One man. Hey. Gotta fix Simon. Uh -huh. <gasps> so she is definitely trying to help. We gotta get her malware out of here before she causes irreparable damage. Now. Yeah. Well, she is not paying attention to y'all, bro. She's just trying to help. The real Betty in there somewhere, Gunther. If only I could reach out to her. Okay, get in there and reach. <laughs> Get in there and reach. Come on. When we both reached for the same book in the library, and I said you should check it out first, and when you returned it, you left a note inside because you knew I'd borrow it next. No, nah, that's some bro. I, bro, I feel like stuff like that only happens in movies. That's so cool though. Like imagine somebody does that, bro. Like you meet somebody in the library, they put a note in the book. Like that's that's cool, bro. That's hella cool. I feel like that doesn't happen though. Smartest note I've ever read. Hi. Have to work. Now nah, it's getting to her. So much, but Betty. Simon? Oh, Betty, oh she fought I it. I can't believe it's really you. Technically, I'm a magical AI avatar derived from Betty's memories. Wait, so where's the actual Betty then? Swing. The crown will reseal itself off from foreign entities. But I what? Come back and visit Simon, right? No. Mm, don't forget. Nope, out, just Gunter and like. You're gonna be deleted. Well, oh, I, I wonder no. if I wonder if uh, Santa and like the other like that blonde person was a foreign entity, or did they happen to have the crown at some point? I'm just glad I didn't destroy your world. You would you think that Santa had the crown, Ice King Santa, Get Ice Powers, on, like. Freaks! I'm gonna be nicer to penguins from now on. Okay. That's like what they gotta do with me. What? <laughs> Before I go, there's something I have to tell you. Tell me, Betty. <laughs> No, come on, bro. You should have been and said that, bro. Whatever you had to say, you should have been and said it. I'm seeing remnants of Betty's program in the readout. So what was that thing you were gonna tell me? Oh, nice. Oh, I just said that for drama. I figured it would drive you crazy, but at least you'd never stop thinking about me. Oh my, that bro, that's messed up. That is messed up because that literally would drive me crazy. I don't see anything? <laughs> weird dots to me. I don't like relaxing. I like science. Hell yeah. That was a good episode. So yeah, whatever. That confirmed what I was thinking uh, a couple episodes ago whenever uh, Betty was messing with the crown. Yeah, she was trying to help. Uh, I wonder if... So she said that was... That that floating Betty head was like a AI created off the memories of Betty or something like that. So where's the actual Betty? Like, what's going on with that, bro? I, I kind of want to know what's going on with that. And then the, with the, the people inside of the crown... I said it was going to get rid of foreign entities. Betty is a foreign entity to the crown, right? Because if they got rid of PB and Marcy, shouldn't they got rid of Betty? And for that matter, is Santa and the blonde person a foreign entity? I don't know. Lots of questions, but I did like that episode. That's a good start to the season. Gunther. Oh, it's little Betty. Magic woman. Magic, magic Betty. Oh, she is trying to still fix him. Want some possessive though. Bro, we even know out of them bro damn betty stop it bro damn betty she popped off on him straight up was infected her like desire to save him i guess <laughs> more entities damn all that is already fixed up damn never get gunther i see the penguins like what's a penguin damn betty what's the i wonder what the gonna happen to betty now Oh, so it's still okay. 
So she's still somewhat around, I guess. I never. <laughs> bro, ain't no way, bro. Ain't no way. <laughs> Distorted her goddamn face, dog. Dog. Oh, man. And uh, the crown stuff is fixed. So what about the other version of Betty, though? Hmm, wonder when she's gonna come and play. I honestly, didn't. I didn't expect this to be like kind of like touched on this early. I guess it really was just like a touch up. So we're probably one thousand percent gonna revisit that again. And that was a dope ass episode, though, man. Uh, w started to the season, man. W started the season. Damn, we got the dynamic duo in the first episode, man. Did we go two for two. Am I asking for too much? What about just more Marcy? Betty. Hi, that was interesting. What about that time? You're one of the first ever adventure type episodes when you guys went to the haunted batch and you had to dress up as like um, like different characters to find out who's the birder. It turns out it was just another version of Finn in the vault and it was buried in his brain for like seasons and it was revealed how it happened in the house and yeah. Yeah. <laughs> what about that for um, dinner party? Uh, I really enjoyed that one. Um, but yeah, guys, let's just go straight into the next episode. So, without further ado, let's get out with the video.